Welcome to the Pace Studio. Our guest today is John Batiste. Mm -hmm. Welcome, John. You're going to play some uh, Christmas music for us today? Yes, yes. Holiday time. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. What's the first song you're going to play? Uh, I'm going to play Endless Love from my new album. All right, Christmas with John Batiste. Yeah. On the stove top, daddy put a log on the fire. My sister and me putting lights around the tree as we listen to the choir. And every year, I think to myself, who I am and who can I help? And every year, I think to myself. Is what you do for someone else It's the time with the sleigh bells ringing It's the time where the children singing It's the time when the spirits bringing joy to the world around the tree don't forget the reason is to live in perfect harmony it's the time where the sleigh bells ringing and the little bit of children singing it's the time when the spirits bringing joy to the world together sharing love that lasts forever because life is so much better when there's endless love thank you so much so what, what uh, prompted you to do a, a Christmas record this year? I've always wanted to do a Christmas album, and the uh, opportunity came from Amazon. We were on the road for nine months from 2013 into 2014, and it was literally the kind of tour where we played every type of venue imaginable. I mean, we played Carnegie Hall, but we also played in like the subways of New York City. We played in dive bars. We played... Uh, ski slopes. We played deserts in the Middle East, like in, in Qatar, oh, wow. Dubai. I mean, <laughs> we played everywhere, and we ended up playing Amazon on that tour. And um, Amazon, some kind of way, got on the itinerary, and we met all of the different people who are there, and in the music department. So fast forward to maybe four or five months ago, they approached me and said, "Hey." do you want to work on um, an Amazon original Christmas album? And I was like, yeah, I got all the arrangements in my head bouncing around for the last several years. Uh -huh. The opportunity presented itself. We cut the album in about two weeks, cumulatively, between taping the late show. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it kind of all came together over the period of four or five months, and it, it, it was just the right time. That's great. So uh, what's this next song you're going to play for us? Um, I'm going to play another one from the album that's not a original, but it's a classic Christmas song, Silent Night. Great. Yeah. All right.
holy night All is calm And all All is bright Round young virgin Young mother and child Holy infant, so tender and mild Sleep in heavenly peace Sleep in heaven. Wow. So when when you're tackling you know these traditional Christmas songs that have been around forever, and and uh, how how do you bring something new like that to it? Where I mean, you said you had these arrangements in your head forever. Is this something when you've you know when the holidays come around and all the way back in New Orleans? I mean, not New Orleans, in Louisiana as a kid, um, just hearing these these different ways. What? I think in in the culture of Louisiana and New Orleans and all of the the the, the southern folk music that I grew up around. There's music for every occasion. And the common thread is that it's always done with an original personality, original perspective. So I, it would be no different to how I approach jazz standards or how I approach any song that is not my own that I'm trying to remix or make an arrangement to. Um, but with Christmas music, that's kind of the standard. So it's not just in New Orleans that it's like that, but everybody who does Christmas songs, they take their own personality and inject it into the melody and the rhythm. So for me, that's what it came out sounding like. <laughs> I, I, I was trying to just listen to the song and hear my voice in it, but keep the message of the song intact. So that's... All the songs you hear on the album are just songs that last five years or so were in my head, and I've just been humming them or playing around with them on the piano and had never really fleshed the entire arrangement out. And then I got the opportunity to do so, and that's what they came out sounding like. Oh, <laughs> well, that sounded amazing. All right, you got one more for us today. What's this one going to be? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to do a... Um, there's an arrangement on the album of this song with a, a, a beautiful singer, uh, Judith Hill, singing. And um, it's full band with horns and uh, uh, pedal steels, guitars, and, and, and the, the baritone saxophone, the trumpet, and, and the choir. It's like a big kind of sound. But I want to do a, a, a piano rendition of God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen. But the album version is a lot different than this one. Mm -hmm. But but it's it's cool to to go back and forth, 
I might do that on the show. All right. That's a good vibe. I'm just making this up as I go. <laughs> so. for coming out here before before we go tell everybody how they can get this record christmas with john oh, yeah. baptiste yeah. christmas with john baptiste is on amazon.com just get it right there that's pretty easy order <laughs> it wrap it up for people give it to them or download it whatever you want to do on there yeah 
That's great. And and we can catch you Friday night on uh, Stephen Colbert. Oh, yeah, Colbert. that's right. That's right. We're going to play the songs, the feature on Friday in the show. Check it out. Set the DVRs and all the vibes. There it is. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And uh, Merry Christmas.